Happy Thursday. Powerlessness. For me, I am powerless over people, places, and things. The small amount of power that I have are over my choices, my actions. And that's comforting and, and also frustrating at times. If I'm inebriated, I give up my power once again to something else. What am I giving my power up to? Am I giving my power up to somebody else to be a victim? And, you know, it's because of them. They've told me to do so. I mean, and there has been a time in my life where I wanted other people uh, to make decisions for me so I didn't have to take or bear the responsibility of the outcome, right? And there are times where that, that is exactly what I want even in this life, even in this experience, like, oh, I want this and I want that. So I, I want someone else to tell me what to do so I don't have to bear the responsibility of the choices that I make. But the freedom that I have is that I get to make those choices and I am the person that gets to make my choices. Um, yeah, it's amazing. That is my friend's dog, if you can hear that. It's amazing, it's hilarious. Uh, snoring on the couch. Um, I'm powerless. I, I mean, I can wake the poor dog up and tell her to go in the other room, but we're not gonna do that. Um, the acceptance of the powerlessness that we have in the world is another wrestling point, you know what I mean? Like, I, you know, and there, we are in a time in, we are in a time in this world, in our experience, in our reality, that the struggle for power is very upfront. You know, the, uh, the misuse of power is, is at the forefront of things. The manipulation of power is at the forefront of things. And uh, I mean, that for me, it brings me back to the, the selfishness of where am I operating from? Am I operating from place to satiate my ego and or am I coming from a place to you know give my heart am I going to be a part of everything or am I just going to hide in a cave by myself and covet or not even in a cave on a mountain and gather as much as I can and tell everybody that this is mine don't come near me love and service I think it's a if you operate from a place of love and service, I, like how it's a very, it can, my own selfishness will definitely embed itself in my actions. And I need to stay aware of where are my um, intentions. But when you're operating from service and love, it's more difficult to, uh, to harm people, I think. And you can still, I mean, like you can love someone to death, I guess. And you, know, you can, like you could rob them of the opportunity to have their own experience because you want to just take care of them. That's all a balance. Those, these are all like subtle nuances of, I guess, power and powerlessness. Because if you've had the experience of tr trying to manage and control someone else, you'll notice that you can't. And it's immensely painful when you realize that, that people are gonna make their own decisions and, they're, and they, they get to wake up for themselves to understand their part in the world, in their lives. Yeah, I don't know, babbling. Uh, happy Thursday, much love and uh, Talk to you tomorrow.